Hello and welcome to my workshop on stereotypes and the consequences that they have that they implicate for certain groups. Uh, in this workshop, I will I will talk about the following: of course, stereotypes and the group that they are indicative of and the ways that they affect this group. Stere <coughs> stereotypes are used to generalize or to make blanket statements about entire groups. It's, essentially just stripping them of their individuality. And as you can probably surmise, this is not really fair to anyone. And perhaps you may know what it's like to actually be stereotyped, or maybe you've done the stereotyping yourself, whether it be on purpose or accidentally. The good news though, is that we can avoid the perpetuation of these stereotypes. All you have to do is just avoid or refuse to accept blanket statements about entire groups and realize that everyone is very individualistic. Stereotypes are commonly found in mass media, whether it be your book, your movie, your show, even music. Um, these stereotypes are so subtly suggested that a lot of times we don't readily pick up on them. And since these stereotypes are commonly presented in media, they might be seen as the prototypical model for adolescents to follow along to. And since, they, since they're consumers of this mass media from such a young age, oftentimes, it's deeply ingrained in their mind, and therefore it's harder for them to shake. Some of the more common stereotypes are those that teach young men how to act. Common stereotypes are the buffoon, that's pretty much your clueless dad, um, the action hero. He, he's very outgoing, he's action-oriented as the name suggests, and oftentimes he's prone to outbursts of anger, rage. See, then there's the big shot. He's multimillionaire, very successful, very powerful, and everyone looks up to him. See, and finally we have the jock. We all know what the jock is. He's the all-star quarterback. He's the hero of the basketball team. And overall, just a pillar of the community. These stereotypes are taught in the media that our children consume. And since these stereotypes are often portrayed without any negative drawbacks, they're likely to be seen by young adults and adolescents as positive role models for masculine be masculine behavior. These stereotypes are taught at such a young age that again, they're ingrained, so they are probably more difficult for people to shed and shake. So the question is, have you ever felt compelled to act in a certain way simply because that's how your group has been portrayed in the media? These stereotypes that are imposed upon these young men, they can lead to all sorts of antisocial behaviors. One of them more prominently being substance abuse, such as alcohol or drugs, even cigarettes. Um, and these are hypotheses, hypotheses that have been made by researchers. Sadly, these stereotypes are still pushed upon unsuspecting young men. See, so um, do you ever feel as though the pressures of acting in a certain way might push you to make decisions that you wouldn't otherwise make, such as smoking your first cigarette or trying your first sip of alcohol at a, an, an underage. See, so men, just like any other being, are highly individualistic. And whenever you strip them of their individuality, you're pretty much just invalidating him as a person. It's as if you're saying he doesn't have a right to be who he wants to be. And what oftentimes is um, overlooked is that men are subject to emotions. Oftentimes they are taught to repress and act like they don't have emotions, which is not a healthy process, as it can lead to all sorts, all sorts of, all sorts of social, or all sorts of mental anguish. See, um, emotions are meant to be expressed in an open manner. 
And sometimes men, sadly, aren't given that liberty. So now that you know some of these consequences, maybe you can help resist, resist adhering to them and resist perpetuating them. And with this knowledge, you should be able to avoid incorporating stereotypes in your child's upbringing. Using these stereotypes, we've created, created a society wherein being an in, a unique individual is punished rather than celebrated and uplifted. And it would ser serve society really well to just shed these stereotypes and allow people to be who they were meant to be rather than punishing them for being themselves. And um, these are the references that I got my information from.